Welcome back to Arcade Night on Cover 2, Hawaii High School Football Weekly, where it's game over for one of two teams in the OIA Open Division. Three of the four spots have been claimed into the state tournament, with either Campbell or Farrington joining St. Louis, Mililani, and Kahuku in two weeks. Oahu's third place game will complete the Tetris puzzle. And as Sam Spangler tells us, Sabres head coach Darren Johnson could make Hawaii football history, proving no matter the gameplay setting, DJ possesses the power of player one. Extra, extra, read all about it. This paper boy's been seeing DJ and the Sabres all over the Star Advertiser headlines on my routes this season. But the only route I saw last week was a 27 to 7 thumping at the hands of Kahuku. Now that put the Sabres in the OIA third place game, a do or die matchup against Farrington this week. But if the Sabres do deliver, that puts DJ atop the game's leaderboard as the only coach in Hawaii prep football history to lead his teams to three different division state tournaments. That would be Kailua in Division I, with the latest being back in 2003. It was also Kaimuki in 2007 in Division II, and then the Open Division would be this year. You can put another quarter in the metal mecca this Friday. Kickoff is set for 5 o'clock at Aloha Stadium. Reporting for Cover 2, the paper boy, Sam Spangler. Now, as for the Division I bracket, three of the four spots to the state tournament have been solidified, with the final ticket being put up for grabs on the Valley Isle tomorrow night, where it's the rubber match at War Memorial Stadium, as the MIL's first half champ, Maui, will face off with a turbo boosted Baldwin team that stunned the Sabres two weeks ago. And as Rob Coleus of the Maui News tells us, a classic split screen showdown could be the difference maker in Maui's pursuit to the promised land. That's right, Rob. This MIL Division I championship game has me flashing back to the days of Pong, asteroids, space invaders, and when I had hair. Since the Sabres broke Baldwin's 26 game winning streak in the Valley Isles big game in 2014, Maui High holds a 6 to 5 advantage. The deciding factor in this game could come down to basic football. The pressure the Sabres can generate on Bears sophomore quarterback La'a Oswega Stark. That will start up front with cousins Viliami Makoni and Atu Fale Kaono, two Sabres who played Pop Warner football with Oswega Stark on the Kihei Dolphins. If that pass rush does not reach the Bears young field general, Maui High could be in trouble. And staying with the action in Division I with no glitch in the system, the longtime golden standard at the Division II level will be going after their first ever title a level up. As the record eight time D2 champs of Iwalani, who played in the D1 title game two years ago, have their targets locked on its first COA trophy in four years. And as Ren Clayton tells us in Four Life, the Raiders possess confidence in their Bowser esque bosses in the defensive backfield. 